Hello everyone and welcome back to our online multiplayer series. In this episode I want to spend some time and go show you how to make it so you can replicate uh, scores between all the players. So how to keep track of who's got what scores. And this could be things like kills, deaths, whatever stats you want to store between each player and display that. We're going to go through that today. So first thing we need to do is set up a mechanic to actually give us a, a score. So I'm going to go to add new and create a blueprint class actor and this can be a pickup um we'll call it pickup points and this can be just award points based on when it's picked up so we're gonna open it up let's just give it a static mesh so we can actually see in the world and make that a bit smaller and let's rise it up a little bit and just put on its edge Ooh. like so that idea okay um next we need to make it so we can actually walk through it so i'm going to go down collision and change it to overlap all dynamic hit compile then i'm going to go to my event graph and on that to begin overlap we're going to simply make it destroy itself when it overlaps a third person character so from the other actor, we'll do cast to third person character. And if that is the case, then we'll take it to destroy itself by doing destroy actor. Compile and let's close that. So let's drag a few of these into the world to test this all out. There's three of them and let's push play. So I've got two clients here on the left and a server here on the right. Client can walk over and pick up this one and it disappears from the server's view as well as the client's view. And if we go over to this one, we can pick up on there and again it replicates and destroys on other views as well. So we now need to assign points to this. Now on an online multiplayer game we store player points on their player state. So each player that's connected to your game has a player state. And this stores their name, their ID, their scores, health, points, anything like that you store on the player state. And that is quite important in regards to online multiplayer. Single player games, you can get away with storing it elsewhere. But for multiplayer, you want to store stats like that on their player state. There's also a game state. And the game state sort of controls what essentially what mode we're currently doing so are we in the pre-game lobby are we actually in the gameplay or are we in post-game for example and the game mode determines the rules um so you had to determine if you've won a king of the hill game when does the hill move so on and so forth um and that game mode only exists on the server so the server is what's controlling all that stuff however the player state exists on all the clients so that's quite important so we need to create our own custom player state in order for us to add our own sort of variables to it. So I'm going to go to add new blueprint class and in the search box down here I'm going to search for player state and select that. I'm going to call mine custom player state. So if you go now into your game mode, um, which mine is here, you'll see an option in the classes by default the player state class is set to player state drop down and choose your custom one we just made and hit compile so now the player state is that custom one so if i go back to it and add a new variable to this one saying uh, player score and we'll make that integer and hit compile so each player will have this variable okay so we're going to close that and next we're going to do so when we pick up the point we're going to add a point to their player state so go to your pickup points and when we overlap the third person character before we destroy it we want to make sure we can add the points to it so from the third as third person character drag that out and get player state from the player state we want to cast to our custom one because our custom one has that custom variable therefore we need to make sure we transform it into that so as custom player state we're going to get player score 
and we're going to add an integer to it. I'm going to add five points. So type in five. And from as a custom player state again, we'll do set player score. And plug in the new value. So we're updating that player state's player score value by five. And at the end of that, we'll destroy the actor like so. So it's still not going to show anything yet, but we can then play this and show it still works when we take away blocks. Okay. But now how do we actually get to show that it actually is working? So on the player character, we're going to add the ability for the player to see what options they have available to them. Uh, what options their score we have available to them. So you can do it in the character or the controller. Um, we don't have a custom controller yet, so let's make one actually. So let's put it in here. Create a blueprint class and choose player controller. And in here we'll call it custom player controller. And go into a game mode again and make sure we change the player controller class to the custom player controller. Hit compile. So now we'll open up the custom player controller. And the controller, we want to handle the input for the player to see the uh, information on their player states. So here I'm going to do it with a tab key. So I'm going to do tab, like so. And when we press the tab key, I'm just going to do a print string for now. We'll do a UI in the next episode. But in, for the pressed for the tab, we'll do a print string. On the pressed for the tab key, we're going to get the game state. And from the game state, we can get all the cat players that are playing in this game mode. So we get player array. And it gives us all the player states that are connected to it, all the ones that are maintained at the moment. From here, we'll do a for each loop. Plugging it into pressed. And this will output a player state array um, object, sorry. And from here, we want to cast to our custom one because our custom one is what contains that new variable. So from there, we want to print string. And I'm just going to do a format text here. So we can get a nice readout. Plug that in there to the print string. And the format text here, we're going to do a player ID colon, open curly bracket, type in ID, close curly bracket, space, 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 score, colon, open curly bracket, score, close curly bracket. Hit enter and you'll see the two parameters for ID and score appear. So from custom player state, we can get player ID. And this is a default value that available that belongs on the player state class. So we'll get that and we'll plug that into ID. And then from custom player start again, we'll get player uh, score and plug that in like so. So this will happen when we push the tab key. So if we could compile and then push play. On our client here, if I push tab, it's now gonna print out to everyone the scores, okay? So if I were to go around to pick up a cube here, player ID 311 has got score of five. Where I went, I picked up this one, He's now got a score of 10. Now, if I switch over to this other player, tab, and you can see player ID 312 has got five. So the player ID, you can see is staying the same, and the score is changing the same. It's just all just a bit different because the way it's generating the array is slightly different per player state. Now, you may want this to be handled by the server only. Now, if you want that to be the case, we can do that. We can go onto a custom player controller, and rather than doing this all on the tab key, we make a custom event, do RPC draw scores, and we'll click on that and change it replicates here to run on server. We'll plug that in, and then on tab, we'll disconnect that and call the RPC event that we just made here. So now it should be just the server that calls that function. So if I'm in here, push tab, 
and you can see the server is now outputting the results. It says server, player ID, server, player ID, server, player ID. So we've got to this client, walk up, collect one point. 314 he is, he got five points. Go down to this client. He is player 315 and he got five points. And go up to the server, the server, fix it up. And he gets, oh, he gets uh, five points as well. And that's all there is to it. So this could be used for uh, score, kills, deaths, KD, whatever you want to do. You can store it all on a player state and output that via the player controller. So in the next episode, we're going to make it show this on the screen the whole time. So each corner is going to contain the player, uh, uh, each player's score, and you can see the update in real time in the game. So if you want to watch the next episode right now, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daly, where patrons and YouTube members can watch their, that video right now before anyone else. It just costs $1 and it helps me out massively, so thank you so much for everyone who has been supporting me so far. If you're watching this and you have yet to subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback, leave a comment below and I'll be eager to read it later on. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.